In this video, we will review how to configure sales areas that should be accessible as workstations within the Jonas Club Management mobile point of sale app. Multiple devices can be linked to the same workstation. To start, let's determine which sales areas will be flagged for use in the app by selecting the applicable sales area, then navigating to the point of sale tab and the staff mobile app settings subtab. Enable this area can be used for a staff mobile app. Optionally override the entry screen template. If you do not want to use the default entry screen template assigned to the sales area, select an override entry screen template to use. For example, your club may have a subset menu specifically for the mobile POS app that is different from the regular back office POS terminals. Additionally, this provides you a way to have a different menu ordering and flow that is optimized for order taking via a mobile device. For every item sold, the app provides the user an option to add a keyboard mod note. Select the desired preparation option note item you wish to use for notes entered against items sold in this area via the app. Based on the mobile device being used for the area, the club may want to limit the types of payments they wish to accept via the app device. The default for member charge and cash is not assigned. Assign the desired payment item if you want to allow for the use of this payment type within the app. If left to not assign, this payment type will not be offered within the app. Extra gratuity subcharge code. If assigned, the assigned code will be used for extra gratuities via the app. Select which price will be displayed to the user in the app. Final prices will be applied at time of submitting the device order to back office POS. Note that when offline transactions are processed after reconnecting to the network or Wi-Fi, they will be recalculated for the sales, subcharges, and member charge amount. Set the four item prices used to retail or member. Include surcharges in item price. When selected, the item prices displayed and used on the app will include any surcharges, such as service charges, taxes, and or gratuities. It is recommended to enable this feature if the area will be operating in offline mode and accepting settlements, since the app in offline mode can still print receipts and settle to member charge. This will ensure surcharges are calculated in the item prices and chip total while in offline mode. For example, this may be handy for a snack cart. Once you have made your adjustments, select Save and repeat this process to configure any additional sales areas that should be accessible via the Mobile POS app. The Mobile POS app devices require a link to workstation configuration. This will let the app device know which sales areas and associated menu templates and configuration will be used in the app. To reduce the setup required, Multiple mobile devices can be connected to the same mobile app device workstation. You only need to create multiple workstations if you need to be able to connect to multiple sales areas from the app. To set up a mobile app device workstation, select New. In the General tab, the first thing you want to do is set your workstation type over to Mobile POS Device. From here, enter a terminal ID with a max of 5 characters and a description with a max of 30 characters. Make sure active is enabled. In the point of sale tab, select the company to use and select the default sales area you wish to use in the app for this device workstation. The sales area app settings will be driven from the sales area selected here. Once you have configured the workstation, select save and repeat this process if any additional workstations are required. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.